Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel Beast Alvarado. In today's video, you guys can see it on the screen. We're going to be talking about Mad 22. We're going to be talking about some of my personal wish lists. Some things that I wish are added in Mad 22. Also too guys, let me know in the comment section down below. What are some things that you guys want to see in the new Madden that we'll be dropping in a couple of months? Before I jump to the video guys, just know I am new on YouTube. I'll be uploading mug content and MCS content. So make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, put notifications, and let's jump into it. So with that being said, obviously for me, in my personal opinion, once there's the last competition for the MCS, which is Madden Bowl, I feel like Madden really slows down. The traffic slows down. And there's not a lot of people playing the game, my personal opinion. Let me know down in the comment section, are you guys still playing the game? If so, how much time are you guys putting into it? Now, don't get me wrong, I love playing Madden, but man, at this point of the year, I'm super ready for the next Madden, which is Madden 22. Hopefully, Madden 22 drops in August, maybe towards the end of August, but we already know what the cover is going to look like. You guys can see it right here on the screen. Derrick Henry is on the cover. I hope... I hope on everything that this game is not a running game. I don't want another Madden 20. I feel like it takes no skills. My personal opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below, actually. Are you guys more run heavy or pass heavy or more of a balanced player? For me, I'm more of a pass heavy person. But let me know your thoughts down below. Okay, so for my first wish list for Madden 22, you're going to see it right here on the screen, Mutt Practice Mode. Now, if you guys have played MLB The Show 21, this game is so good. This game, I wish that whoever made this game can make a football game because their practice mode is so good. Their rewards for their ultimate team, even better. But talking about practice mode, their practice mode is so good because you have so many options on who's pitching, where they're pitching, what type of ball they're pitching. Now, just imagine doing that, but on, you know, football in Madden. I hope that we have a mud practice mode. I hope that we can put any player we want in our, you know, teams in practice mode, especially abilities. If you guys know right now, right now, you can't really practice with mud. You have to play against another friend online if you have another friend. Now, not only that, but we should have the ability to fully customize the whole mode. We could, we should have defenses that we can set up that... Each time it's a new play, we don't have to grab a second controller and actually do adjustment. We can do it one time, set it, and there you go. For example, if I want to lab against um, Mabel defense on Mutt practice mode, let me make like a customized setup for coverage. And each time the play starts all over, it's automatically on the field. If you guys know what I mean, leave a comment down below. If you guys are confused, you know, leave your questions down below. But we need a Mutt practice mode. Especially if you don't have a, you know, online friend or online, you know, labbing partner. We need something where we can add our own teams on the field versus certain coverages and actually lab. This is how everybody's going to get better at the game. This is how everybody's going to win more and love the game more because when you're winning, you're happy. But in my personal opinion, my practice mode has to be the first thing that they add for Man 22. Now, I did have some of these comments on um, Twitter, and you guys see right here, Xerxy actually posted the question, and it actually got my attention. So, this next person, Gold Rush, um, he has like five points. Number one, contain fixed. That's more of a gameplay issue, and I'm not going to be talking like that or talking about that in this game. Just because we all know Madden throughout the year, the meta is going to change, so that's something for the you know developers. Abilities overall. I think new abilities should be in the game. What abilities? I don't know. EA makes a lot of money every year on all of us, so they should have professionals there already with new abilities right to use, so I can see that. Number three, live playbooks available in September and updated monthly through February. I agree with that. I wish we had that option of actually playing with live playbooks in Madden Ultimate Team. We don't, and I hope that these live playbooks actually get updated every week or every month and actually has new plays i don't know how many of the same plays i've seen in madden in bunch throughout all these years add new plays add new formations make the game interesting to play especially when you're labbing number four playbooks overall to actually match what teams are running in real life that'll be interesting i mean i feel like that should be connected with number three live playbooks i mean 
the Titans are running the ball all the time, you know, in the next upcoming season, I feel like it should be the same in game. You know, they should have a lot more formations, which just in general, we need a lot more new plays and a lot more new formations. And number five, game drops first week of August. I agree with that. I already want Mad 22 to drop just because I like that new game feeling. I like, you know, being on the grind of building the ultimate team and getting better and learning what the meta is. So overall, with Gold Rush, I agree with almost all their things. Number one, contain fix. That's more of a gameplay um, type of, you know, problem. But just in general, things I want to see from Madden 22, the rest of the things like playbooks, I totally agree with. Next topic or next thing on our wish list is make it easier for no money spent and bunch of franchise stuff. So I'm be honest with you guys, I don't play franchise stuff. I feel like franchise gets boring once you make a player and you stick with a team for X amount of years, win a Super Bowl. For me, it gets boring. I mean, let me know your thoughts down below. But the no money spent thing is so true. Guys, this game, I don't, even, I don't even play baseball like that. But this game, I have an ultimate team. You can earn really good players for free. And you know who, who exactly you're going to get. I know in Madden Ultimate Team, if you do X amount of challenges and get X amount of stars, you get a pack. And you hope that you get the player that you want. In this game, just in comparison, you know exactly who you're getting. And to be honest with you, you could do it pretty fast. I like, I don't know. I think EA should take some notes from MLB The Show 21. Because you can earn a lot of good players just by playing the game. And you don't even have to play the game a lot. In Madden Ultimate Team for no money spent. Dude, it's only two things you have to do in Madden. If you want to have a good team. And if you want to be at least, you know competitive online right it takes some skills but at the same time you need a good squad let's just be honest right it's either you put a lot 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 of time into the game or you spent money into the game now i'm gonna be honest with you guys i i think i've probably spent a hundred dollars in the beginning of the year on packs after that i always went on a coin website just because it's a lot cheaper that way and EA is already making thousands, millions of dollars off of us players, off of packs. And the packs are not good. I've never, and even though I, the times I did open packs, I've never, you know, pulled an LTD, anything like that. My personal opinion, they should take notes from MLB The Show. This game, you can actually play with less time and play easy missions and get really good players and have fun online. No money spent players. I feel bad for you guys because you guys had to put hours into the game. So guys, that was the video. It was a little quick short video. It might be part one of my Man 22 wish list. Let me know in the comment section down below what are some things that you guys want to see in Man 22. I'll be interested on hearing what you guys want to see in the game. Um, just some other like quick little pointers. I mean, overall rewards need to be better. No money spent players need to have the ability to get really good players with less time. I mean, there's so many things that I like to see upgraded, like head-to-head. -head, make the rewards a lot more better, or make the head-to-head -head overall more interesting, right? I feel like once you're done with Weekend League, nobody wants to play head-to-head -head because the rewards, they're not that good once you, know, you have a good squad. And there has to be a reward or has to be something you want to go after. Besides the rewards, right? Winning a Super Bowl is good, but I don't know, man. I just head to head needs to get better, right? If you're in the highest division and you're winning games, where do you go from there? So EA, I mean, you guys make millions of dollars off of us, millions of dollars just in general. Hire professionals. Make sure you guys add new stuff into this game that make it better overall, and make sure it's not a running game. Let me know your comment. Let me know down below your opinion on your wish list i'll be very interested on you know talking about it might make a part two so let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see that hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys like the video subscribe put your notifications and i'll see you guys on the next one